There will be a number of new faces on the Calgary Flames for this upcoming season, and we call those new faces Name Chere in Punjabi. Now, one of those will be Josh Levo, and I had the chance to sit down with him one on one. We are joined by one of the newest members of the Calgary Flames, Josh Levo. Josh, thanks for joining us. Uh, how are you feeling being a Calgary Flame here? Not too long ago, October, you signed, and we're in December. Are you all settled in uh, in the new city? Yeah, families all moved in. Um, we're just uh, in the Kensington area, so uh, we're starting to get to like that. It's unfortunate uh, the COVID, everything's locked down, but um, you know what? Everything, everyone's all settled. Um, excited, finally, kind of have a start date. So, you know, it's been it's been over a year now since I played a hockey game. So uh, the excitement is is there, and uh, to be able to play for the Flames. Uh, I just can't wait, and uh, I think we got a good, promising group. So this is your third Canadian team, and that's pretty special. I mean, you started off with the Toronto Maple Leafs, of course, and then the Vancouver Canucks most recently, and now with the Calgary Flames. And so I think a lot of fans would love to know uh, what ultimately led you to signing with the Flames over some of the other teams that were interested. Uh, the group of guys, I know Monaghan from training, Geo from training, and then a couple other guys obviously reached out to me. Um, I guess Tree had mentioned to them they were interested. So a couple guys gave a couple shout outs and, uh, you know what, uh, the want from the flames was, uh, was, was good to feel that, especially because of the injury and everything. You never, you never know what, uh, what teams are thinking, but I know Calgary, I said this in an interview before, uh, they've been trying to get me since the Toronto days. So, um, I've always, I've always felt like it was a good fit. And then, uh, obviously knowing a couple Canucks already and, uh, a couple of the flames, it, it obviously made it a little easier. Can't even imagine what it's like to move, uh, during a time, uh, in, in the pandemic. So, uh, glad to hear you guys are all settled in. And so I want to talk about your Jersey number and I, I called an, uh, a few of those Leafs games, uh, where you wore number 32 and then now with the, uh, with the Canucks, it was number 17. So um, with the flames here uh, with Lucic wearing number 17, you decided to go with 27. Talk about the evolution of your Jersey number in starting off in Toronto was 32 your choice. Tell us that story and, and go from there. 32 is not my choice, but uh, being a young guy, you don't really say much. And of course. Uh, Obviously, in Toronto, 17 is retired by uh, Wendell. So there was no uh, no trying to get that number. So I just stuck with 32. Going to Vancouver, I was fortunate to ask for 17, and there no one had the number. 17's um, been in the family history. Uh, my dad wore it playing hockey, and I think my both my sisters have always worn 17. So just kind of been the family number. <clears throat> and then coming here, obviously, Luch, me and Luch had some talks, actually, and He's got some history with 17. He didn't like 27 in Edmonton. So I figured I'll just take 27 because I had uh, had that in junior uh, with the Sudbury Wolves. And, uh, you know, I had some good years there. So I felt the, the number was there and uh, bring it back. And hopefully uh, I can continue that with the, the Flames. That's fantastic. You know, I, a lot of Flames fans are really excited to see you wear that 27 and uh, to see you in the Flames threads. And, you know, you mentioned your dad, Carl, who also played hockey. Uh, and I believe uh, in one season in the OJHL, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, close to hitting 500 penalty minutes. So uh, safe to say you guys don't necessarily play the same st style on the ice. Yeah, oh, definitely. Um, from what I hear, he was uh, he was more of the psycho out there. Um, he loved to get into the scrums and, uh, and stir it up. But uh uh, my my dad used to say my grandma would go my grandmother would go for the first period and once he saw she was out of the stands it was uh it was anything <laughs> goes so back then it was a different sport but uh yeah I definitely did not um embrace the toughness out of that that my that my father had that's for sure your time with the Canucks albeit short due to that injury uh, the knee injury that you suffered but prior to that injury you you know were having quite a bit of success in those games and had a really good run and now you know the joke uh, is and a lot of people have mentioned this uh the Calgary Canucks in that sense Markstrom's here Louis Domingue comes along Tanev and now yourself so does that familiarity do you think that'll help you in that transition in in the dressing room 
Definitely. Um, the guys are already here. They're, they're pretty easy going and, uh, easy to get to know. So that was easy. But then, uh, obviously to have a couple guys from the team you just played on, it's, it's, it's easy, comfortable, um, relaxing. I mean, I know Markstrom's excited. Tan is, is pumped. We're, uh, we're all here now, um, in our small groups and everything, just trying to train for the, the start of this. But, uh, you know, we're still texting, trying to stay in touch. Um, it's a little different right now because everything's locked down. But uh, once everything gets going, uh, we've always been a group. We always went out for dinners and everything. So um, easy group of guys. And we're, we're, I think, all excited for this season. Uh, I think there's some uh, some good buzz around this team this year. Definitely. And with a potential all-Canadian division, a lot of matchups against your former teams yeah. upcoming, that, that'll be a lot of fun to watch and we'll watch with intrigue. Uh, you're a right-handed shot, which is a rarity in the Flames lineup. And there's been a lot of chatter in terms of, uh, amongst Flames fans, in terms of changing the combinations of the forward group. Where do you see yourself fitting in? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not picky, but, uh, obviously I'd like to help contribute offensively. I think, uh, I, I'm a two way, two way winger that, uh, takes care of the D zone before he thinks about the offense. So, um, I know there's a lot of offensive minded guys here, so I know, I mean, not sure what Wardo's got planned yet, but, uh, hopefully maybe a Monty or with a back land. They haven't really discussed the lines or something, but um, definitely want to want to come in here and, and help contribute offensively. Um, there's a lot of firepower here, and, and uh, I think that's uh, one of the things that uh, was exciting to come here for. Last question for you here, Josh. Uh, we're on Flames TV Punjabi, and uh, we're talking about growing the game, and we're talking about uh, 2020, the year where uh, you know the entire world is kind of learning more about uh, racial inequality and what do you think initiatives like flames tv punjabi can do for growing the game how important do you feel that they are oh, i think anything to help expand the game of hockey is amazing um anywhere you can get uh some games obviously going over to china and stuff that would be great down in the middle east would be awesome uh nazim kadri one of my good buddies is lebanese and uh his dad always talked about trying to uh set something up in Dubai or something for the, for a, a couple guys to go out and, and try to expand the game down there too. So I think as much as you can, especially with the, the social media out there and everything now, it's uh it's easier to get out, but uh, you obviously still have to put in the work to, to uh, get people's attention. Cause uh, I think hockey is uh, a different sport compared to a lot of it. And you know what? Uh, not too many people enjoy it at first, but when they get to get to actually enjoy uh, watching a game live, um, I think people really appreciate that, and they see how uh, how intense and how hard the the game of hockey actually is. You're definitely well said, and it is uh, the greatest game on earth. And we all look forward to watching you with the Calgary Flames this upcoming season. Thanks for joining us, Josh, on Flames TV Punjabi. Thanks for having me. A total of 160 NHL players have played for three or more Canadian NHL teams in their careers. Now, Josh Levo is one of those players. Flames fans are hoping that Josh Levo finds the most success in his career wearing the Flaming Sea. Thanks for watching Flames TV Punjabi.